So, I asked ChatGPT, can you tell me a story that would get someone curious about starting to learn calculus? Here's the story. Here we go. It's called The Calculus Quest. Ready? The Calculus Quest. In a quaint little village nestled between lush green hills, there lived a bright young girl named Alara. With her unruly curls and sparkling green eyes, she was known for her endless curiosity and adventurous spirit. Alara spent her days exploring the forest, collecting colorful leaves, and imagining the stories hidden in the whispers of the wind. I have leaves. One day, as Alara wandered deeper into the woods than ever before, she stumbled upon an ancient oak mm -hmm. tree. Its gnarled branches stretched high into the sky, and its trunk was wide enough for her to wrap her arms around. Intrigued, she noticed a small, weathered book wedged into the roots of the tree, its cover <laughs> faded and mysterious. As she carefully pulled it free, a flurry of golden leaves swirled around her, dancing in the air as if welcoming her discovery. The title of the book read, The Secrets of Change, A Journey Through Calculus. Alara's heart raced with excitement and a touch of confusion. She had heard whispers of calculus in the village, but what <laughs> was it really about? Book in an ancient Determined tree. to unravel its mysteries, Elara opened the book. The first page was adorned with a beautiful illustration of a winding river, its path meandering through valleys and mountains. Beneath the picture were words that caught her attention. Hmm. Calculus is the study of change, a tool to understand the world around you. With each turn of the page, Elara was captivated by tales of explorers, scientists, and mathematicians who had used calculus to solve problems and make discoveries. There was the story of Archimedes, who calculated the area of a circle and discovered the principle of buoyancy, and Isaac Newton, who described the motion of planets and invented calculus to do it. As she read, Alara began to imagine herself as one of these great thinkers. What if she could unlock the secrets of the universe? What if she could understand how the stars danced in the night sky or how the leaves changed colors with the seasons? The possibilities seemed endless. Suddenly, a soft voice broke her reverie. Ah, I see you found my book. Startled, Alara looked up to see an elderly woman with silver hair and a warm smile. I am Mathilda, the keeper of knowledge in these woods. I found this book, and it speaks of calculus, Alara replied, her eyes wide with curiosity. What is it really about? Mathilda chuckled softly. Calculus is like a magic key, my dear. It allows you to unlock the secrets of change and motion. Imagine you are standing by that river, she said, pointing to the illustration. Calculus helps you understand how the river flows, how fast it moves, and how it shapes the land over time. Alara's mind raced with possibilities. Can it help me understand the world better? Can it answer questions about nature and the stars? Absolutely, Mathilda replied, her eyes twinkling. With calculus, you can predict the path of a falling apple model the growth of a tree, or even calculate the speed of a shooting star. It's a way to describe how things change and how they relate to one another. Inspired, Alara's heart swelled with excitement. How do I start learning this magic? Begin with the basics, Mathilda advised. Understand the idea of limits, which helps you comprehend how values approach one another. Then, explore derivatives to see how things change at any given moment. Finally, Dive into integrals, which allow you to find the total accumulation of change over time. Alara nodded eagerly, her mind buzzing with the concepts. I want to learn. I want to be able to uncover the mysteries of the universe. With a kind smile, Mathilda handed Alara the book. Take this with you. Study it. Practice. And soon, you will see the beauty of calculus unfold before you. Remember, every great mathematician started as a curious child, wow. just like you. Alara thanked Mathilda and raced home, her heart alight with determination. She immersed herself in the book, sketching graphs, mm -hmm. solving problems, and dreaming of the discoveries that awaited her. As days turned into weeks, Alara began to see calculus everywhere, in the rhythm of the waves, the pattern of the stars, and the gentle curves of the hills. With each new concept she learned, her confidence grew, and she could feel herself transforming into a young mathematician. Years later, as Alara stood on a hilltop gazing at the starry sky, she reflected on her journey. Calculus had indeed been a magic key that unlocked her understanding of the world. With it, she had ventured into the realms of physics, engineering, and astronomy, and she knew this was just the beginning.
From that day forward, Alara dedicated her life to sharing the wonders of calculus with others, inspiring new generations to embark on their own quests of discovery. And so, the legacy of curiosity and the magic of change continued to weave through the fabric of her village, forever igniting the spark of knowledge in the hearts of those who dared to dream. Okay, so personal reflections on this. Uh, number one, that sentence of she had heard whispers of calculus in the village, but what was it really about? It was hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. I feel I feel like ChatGPT took like general things that you would find in a calculus textbook. Calculus is the study of change, a tool to understand the world around you. First you study limits, then you study integral uh, derivatives, then you study integrals. I feel like <laughs> it just took those things and like inserted the story like around all of those things so that didn't exactly spark questions about calculus for me i was hoping for the story to be more about something specific that led to an example i could work on a question i could work on but that didn't really happen it is an interesting story i mean i'm glad chat gpt was using like these female characters I don't know how it wrote something that just like relates to me in terms of like, I go into the woods and collect leaves. Yeah, I will do that. Um, anyway, that was cool. But one thing is that chat GPT is still treating calculus and math um, as having a practical purpose. So one of the things that I'm kind of annoyed about at the world <laughs> is that we really teach, we like define math by its practical uses. We like tell kids, oh, you have to learn math because it's like used in the world. Like it's used for money. It's used for calculating like how things work, like distances of cars, whatever, um, how fast something moves you know, you're gonna need it for money, you're gonna need it for like renovations, for buildings, just like physics, science, great, great. Math can be used for physics and science, that's great. But I don't know how to explain how much I hate that that's what we define math by. Because math in itself is not practical. And if you hear me say that and you're like, what does that sentence mean? That's what I mean. No one has explained it to you. They haven't told you the secret, which is not a secret. They just probably don't know. Math is not practical. It is just a fun game. Like, you just choose things. Like, you name them, define them, create them. It does not have to, ha like, be real. Like, a circle on a paper, you're not going to find that, like, for real, in real life. That's just the simplest version of something we're using. To draw like a one-dimensional circle a two-dimensional circle it's a one-dimensional circle that's just a line anyway anyway where what what was i talking about i'm really mad that we define math by the practicalities because it is fun it's a game it's about patterns and literally anything that you do with patterns is math um anyway that's a whole other topic and discussion and thing in itself point is I feel like this response from chat GPT mirrors this in society of looking at math specifically with a practical purpose rather than fun or a game and I guess I'll see if I can prompt chat GPT to give me another answer something closer to what I want but I guess if it's an understanding society hasn't really got into it might not have the material to give me the answer i'm looking for so that's just a thought maybe i'm wrong maybe um maybe something else i don't know anyway so that was fun chat gpt can write cool stories oh the other thing i wanted to say was that 
one of the sentences though is a really good quote in my opinion the one that's like remember every great mathematician started as a curious child just like you something about that just feels very profound like every single great scientist mathematician someone started as a curious child and the point is not to lose that curiosity as you get older you know to keep learning to keep doing that anyway yeah this was a fun experiment with chat gpt